Look on the screen. Sorry that I gotta ask ya. This seems so mean. This mama's acting ratchet. Look on the screen. Look on the screen. Look on the screen. This is so mean. A certified dustina. Certified dusty behavior. So let's get this right. She has, and let me, before I say that, this is why I say most women, especially in the BC, for the next five years, we need to go ahead and put a pause on having children. Unless you can secure a marriage with a man that they, that's a provider, not a 50-50 roommate, a marriage that is with a man that's a provider, not your boyfriend. Uh-uh. We're going to have more of this because what I'm seeing is happening. There are some single parents who are raising children and those kids are, are at their best, going to do their best. But that's not the majority. What I'm seeing, in my opinion, is just turning out more dysfunction. That's why the community, the community has deteriorated to an all-time low. And at this level of disdain, self-hatred, degeneracy, hate to tell you, you don't have a remedy. You, you don't. It's not going to be a quick fix. In my opinion, it's not going to be fixed at all. It's too far gone. This woman, based on the story on the screen, I am willing to bet you my personal opinion. You can have yours. Uh, she cares more about this weave in her head than she does her children. She cares more about this old cheap, um, what is this, leopard outfit than her children. Me, 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 me. So she has a 14 year old that's a runaway. Gee, what do you think that 14 year old has been doing? Do you think that 14 year old girl has not been touched? That kind of behavior starts real early. Then it can spiral down to abuse. It can sometimes spiral down to drug, drug use. 14 years old. She has a 14 year old that's a runaway. Then. She has a three-year-old and a 12-year-old, and those two have different daddies. Did you catch the part where they said the 12-year-old was lying and saying the mother was at work? Where is the fourth? So the three-year-old and the 12-year-olds have different fathers. I'm willing to bet it wouldn't surprise me if the 14-year-old, too, had a different dad. So stop and think about it. Out of three children, only one man, one of the fathers of the 12-year-old, was the responsible, was the, uh, was the one that cared, that gave a darn. You heard in the story it said that the 12-year-old was lying, saying the mom was at work because she was thinking that if something would have happened, her dad would take her and separate her from her three-year-old brother. In this case here, honey, the only one that gives the darn is the man of the 12-year-old child, that father. He's sending food. That doesn't make any... Where's your mom? Sending food. And he's a music producer. He then, realizing something is wrong, I guess communicating with someone else in the family, I think an ex-mother-in-law, what have you, or someone, realizing something was wrong, he then hopped on a plane... She's been gone, not for a week, y'all. They're saying between a month and a half up to two months. And abandoned a three and 12 year old. And don't forget, oh, don't forget. They were not what? The children were not even enrolled in school. But it shows you where the values lie, the priority. But she was active on that social media. Here's one look. But she was active on that social media. And here I is again. Y'all like my social media picture with my new hairdo. But was active on the social media. The children were not enrolled in school. (sighs) 
How dare she? You, oh! Well, again, people were mad when Denzel said it, and I totally, I concur. The prison, the pipe to prison pipeline, it starts in the home. It, it, it starts in the home. A 14 year old child is a runaway. And then a three and 12 year old left at the house. But she, she in Mobile, Alabama. Do you know no food in the house? They said it had some what? Dry beans and spices? This woman hates those children. She probably only needs them for a check. Using her womb possibly as a darn wallet. I think she's using her womb as a wallet. Dry, how can you be gone from your children that long? I'm telling you, she, I, in my opinion, I wouldn't be surprised this thing cares more about the, her weave than those children. Cares more about the ID, the Instagram, the IG, her whatever social media is than those children. It's obvious because she paid attention to that. The kids abandoned. What is a four-year-old girl doing in the street? A runaway. So she was active in social media, but wasn't active in her role as a mother. Why? Doesn't want to be one. There are some women, you have to face it, use their womb as a wallet. And the children, that's why, why it went on so long. They were not enrolled in school. I'm sure she was in, because we can look at her right here, honey. You kind of, you, you a little thick. I don't see her missing any meals, but the children, dried beans and spices in the home. The pipe to prison pipeline starts where? And to think, if that father of the 12-year-old, we haven't heard anything about the father of the 3-year-old. Again, the, the news report stated that, that they have different fathers. So the 3-year-old probably doesn't care that father and the 4-year-old. Where, where is that man at? So if that one decent father who was sending food, if he hadn't investigated and found out what happened, what if that man was maybe, I'm assuming like, like the other two, Papa didn't give a darn because you didn't hear anything about them. So I'm assuming she must have one baby dead out of three that's worth a darn. What if that man had not gotten involved? Those kids might still probably still be in that house. What if he hadn't sent food? The 12 year old's father sent food. Where's the three year old's daddy? And the 12 year old was concerned. So the 12 year old must have known that her father cared and was concerned that, okay, if it's found out. That's why she's obviously lying, saying her mom was at work. Yeah, right. She probably knew then, if my dad finds out, he's going to come and get me because he gives a darn. This time, baby daddy say the day. This time, baby daddy say the day. The one decent one that she had. Again, where's the father of the three-year-old? Where's the father of the 14-year-old? But the 12-year-old knew that she can call on her daddy and he must have been checking in on her. He didn't just send some food and just let it go. Probably realizing, hey, something is strange going on here. So if it wasn't for a baby daddy, a caring baby daddy, this would have kept been going on. Who knows for how long? What if someone had broken into the house? Could have kidnapped those children and trafficked them? What if the house had caught on fire? Can you, um, a 12, a 12 and three year olds in that house. No food, no supervision. But this thing on the screen traveling going places she's eating and sleeping somewhere but the social media was active and there's a warrant out for her arrest now i haven't had any updates as of this, of this video about her being apprehended i hope they do it and do it pretty pretty darn quick this woman needs to serve some serious time and if it were up to me she would not be released from prison she would not be released from prison until she uh had some type of hysterectomy we mean you don't want to have children you want to take care of them we understand that and they, they need to make sure she cannot have any more children Again, 
I'm willing to bet you she cares more about that weed than those kids. Me, 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 me. I want to be on the IG, my Instagram, my social media, whatever she's using, whatever's Facebook. Because I'm not aware of a social media. I don't care to be. But I'm just using IG that's, you know, very popular as well. The pipe to prison pipeline starts where it starts in the school. No, uh, uh, uh. You got to back that train up and call it what it is. The pipe to prison pipeline starts in the home. Mm-hmm. Parents. Look at the damage that's done. And this is only probably tip of the iceberg. We don't know what, what all's been done in the home when she's there. The children not enrolled in school. You got to be kidding me. Let me know what you all think. This is just incorrigible. This is you you there you 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 can't make this stuff up. Gone this long. And if the baby daddy won now. If the one baby daddy, if that man had not been concerned about his 12-year-old child, who knows what could have happened? Just go and leave your kid. Who does that? This woman does not love her children. I don't want to hear what she tried, but no, 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 no. She doesn't love her children. I bet she took some weave with her. I bet she took some old janky outfit with her. I'm going to live my best life. She doesn't love her children at all. I hope they find her and she should be incarcerated. Look at the damage, the abandonment. 12 years old and 3 years old in a house. And a 4 year old that's a runaway. When was she going to come back home? And, and do what? It reminds me of that ignorant woman. Uh, it's, it's an old video. And this trash bag of a woman had six children. An old video. Before I started my uh, YouTube. Six children. Not on social media. And she was cursing and saying all types of horrible things about those kids. And then she said, oh yeah, it worked. They came and got them. They came and got them. It worked. She was saying horrible things how she did not want the six children. These were her children. They come from her raggedy womb. These are her children. She made it clear she didn't want them. Got on social media, did a rant, and then talked about how the people, the state came and got the kids, and she was relieved. Six kids that didn't ask to be here. Six kids that didn't ask to be here. And the pot to prison pipeline starts where? Six children. And the state came and got all six. So I guess they'll be in foster home. What kind of lifestyle, if she berates her children and expresses her disdain for her children and makes it clear she doesn't want them on social media, how do you think she's treating them behind closed doors? The abuse doesn't care what happens to them. But then Mother's Day, I'm a mother. Really? This is why I say. The next five years, this community needs to really pump the brakes unless you are prepared in a stable relationship uh, with a marriage, unless you're prepared. Now, if you want to be a single person who want to raise a kid on your own, you want to be a single mom, you can handle it, do, do you. But for the majority, I'm, we're just putting out dysfunction. It's already hard enough just to survive. And then you add being in a community, uh, being a minority, part of an oppressed and subjugated group, part of a group that doesn't build, basking in ignorance that permeates the group. Just love it. We got 10-year-olds now carjacking people. Where did it start from? Where's the parents? It starts in the home. Six-year-old, he's on training due to how to car check, carjack. He's with the rest of them learning how. We have a teacher, a young black man saying, hey, he talked to some of these kids committing these crimes and he's asking why. And they're like, basically, the older black men in the community are advising them to do so. So 
So you're basically just breeding children for the slaughter, breeding children for the pot to prison pipeline, and then you want to holler, Black Lives Matter. Guess what? No one's buying it. The world is watching. This on the screen, the tile of mother she doesn't deserve. I just see her as an old ratchet POS woman. A piece of you-know-what woman. Anyway, let me know what you all think. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share. Simply said here on YouTube, and I'm out.